Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more to Mana Lords. Yeah, to our growing town, isn't it? It's is it a bigger city now? Uh, not quite yet, medium town it is, that would be my goal. And in this case here, we have a few preparations to do for this endeavor. The first one is finally solving the planks problem. Now, this has been ongoing for quite some time now. And in that case, the planks, of course, are being consumed by a lot of my artisans now with the shield production, the spear production, the bow production, and also the upgrades that we're having, that constantly having, right? So it's a lot right now. And even the tools production does require planks from time to time. So in this case here, I still need to have more planks also for, of course, bigger constructions like increasing the size of my manor to a side, well, to a to a, a nice, beautiful castle. And for this, I need to have my own forester area. Right now we have this area here, but it's problematic, right? We're, we're cutting into the berries here and also into the wild animal deposit into my hunting grounds. And by the way, this is pretty far up here. Uh, that would have that would be also a really cool location for a castle unfortunately there is the animals right there and we totally depend on them for the leather and the meat so no can do right now i however would like to move my my logging industry once more uh in this case here we are growing a bit too quickly over here right so i would like to continue also expanding a bit further and in this case i need to find a new a permanent logging industry and it's this area here that i've decided for the the thing about that is it's close to the city right so we still don't have too much uh, of a walk distance and also it's an area that i'm certainly not going to settle anytime soon except for this area just beside the king's road so let's make this a crossing here that we already have there that continues then right into this um into this forest area right and in here we're going to make a nice lumber industry out of it we need to be a bit careful because as you can see there is my my province borders um so i will not be able to um yeah cut trees beyond that and let's actually make that connection again then here somewhere and with that we can now build i would actually like to go ahead and build me two lumber camps right that's number one priority number one and number two together with another woodcutter lodge that we can have then as well um actually let's have this one then a bit further over here all right so we're also cutting a bit further into uh, this area here for the woodcutter lodge and just on this tiny road that we have there, I'm also going ahead with a forester hut because, of course, we have a lot of trees here, but that's not going to last <laughs> once we've built that. So in this case, that's going to be lots of reforestation as well. And on top of that, to keep transportation times short, because, of course, we need to deliver the logs to this, I would also like to move my saw pits. We have them right here in the city center. It doesn't really make sense for me to have them here then anymore because the logs, of course, need to get over there, right? So I'm going to build me the saw pits right next to the lumberjacks. Um, and in this case here, we could make it so that... Uh, wait a second, this is a burgage plot already. Uh, it's a bit hard to see the roads there in the in the forest right so if i if i want to expand behind that burgage plot which i would like to do right because this is more or less my my lumberjack road right that we're having that is then going into my trading post here so we still have this one here for some basic burgages um and here we have now the forester hut the woodcutter lodge definitely also a hitching post um that we're going to need uh, that transports all the the logs between them right I mean, it's super hard to see something. Let's actually go with one logging camp for the moment because I think we don't need a second one for now. And then I would also like to go ahead and really plan ahead with some of my houses, right? So we can have those houses here with the backyards as well. This is important that we have that space available just in case. And by the way, if I actually increase the, the density or lower the density, it should be much easier to squeeze it in. We could even have just one here as well. That would be strange. And just beside the hitching post, we're going then with the, the sawmill, right? So I might make another road here around the hitching post so that we have then enough room here for saw pit number one, number two, and number three. So I would like to go with three and we could expand here further, right? So it continues then delivering and then into the city where we need it actually. So this would be my goal. That's a lot of construction right now. And it will, of course, hopefully advance a bit further there. All right, this on the way. We could lower already here the people in the logging camp and the forester hut. This we can actually get rid of entirely now. And the same, not a woodcutter I still would like to keep, but let's actually take the workforce so we can finish those constructions faster than before. Mm, also for expansion, I wanted to have a few more burgage plots, right? Because we have right now um, 52 families, right? And 59 space, so we actually have space. 
um, but we are growing rather quickly right now so let's have another oh we could even have two but that's not something i'm going to do one should be fine here with a backyard right that we can have all the way up here to that street that should work out that's working out right beside this one ready for upgrade and then we get a whole new area here for another district another um, neighborhood right where people can live in righto that's going to be quite some time here let's min in the meantime check my my iron ore iron slab production so we have seven iron slab in now so don't forget we are importing that from Valbrand, my mining colony this one in the meantime is okay we do have some basic homelessness here uh can't be <laughs> we have five living space and five families here so everybody's got a home that is a bit strange. Okay, that was previous, so now they're not homeless anymore. The penalty is gone, so perhaps it stays like this. This would be fantastic. The pack station it is, so they should be busy transporting everything around here. Guiding an ox and transporting. By the way, we don't. I think we don't need to have this one here active. Nah, actually, we do. There needs to be some offering to that. We could go with tools, but tools is actually something that goes up. We could go with leather and provide them with some clothing, some basic one here too. Something that we can actually, you know, use like herbs would be fine. Bar to receive herbs. That is actually something we can do. Herbs we have, and herbs is something we don't need in huge quantities. So I can go ahead and make this one actually send herbs to the other location um, as a barter, right? Because you need to have some exchange. I would love though to not have it like this. I would love to just be able to transport those resources without any bartering. I mean, I don't really see the reason for that. We are lord of both provinces. You know, so we can definitely, we should definitely have a say here of how things are getting transported. But okay, that's just how it goes for now. By the way, that logging camp, we're pretty full on timber. Theoretically, I don't need this anymore. So I could go in and actually also start the clay deposit, right? Because we don't need the lumberjack hut then anymore. And we really just get the clay and the, the iron out of it. So let's build this one too. Get that clay running, right? So that's going to be quite nice. We need a second pack station for this then, however, to make it worth a while as well. But that's for later. So how is it going here? The ox is getting over the resources. Burger spot is being built. A whole new industry setting up in the middle of the forest. And in the middle of all of this, the Baron has made another claim. Unfortunately, we cannot negotiate yet with the money that we have, right? That would be fantastic. But right now, we can only resolve the claim on the battlefield. And Zweio is actually something that we really need to fight for. Because here we got an indefinite um, iron deposit. A huge wild animal deposit that we're going to need for any kind of leather production and cloth production and another berry deposit. This is super important here. And of course, we're going to resolve the claim on the battlefield. And with that, we have a bit of money at hand. Glad I was not spending all of it. <laughs> and with that, we can raise our units, of course. Our enemies' units have been spotted. They're already... Holy cow, they're close, right? They're already entering the, the, the map here. And we can also see how many there are. Quite a few. <laughs> so I can already see that this is going to be a bigger battle. Uh, let's just have a look. We will spend our treasury on that. Let's rally my, my soldiers. Lucky us, we do have quite a few soldiers at this point. And then we can also get us some flock of the crazy geese. Wait a second, wait a second. Where are the joining? Immen, Reut and Hofstetten. So in no, not in the region where the, the enemies are already gathered, right? Let's get both of them. We could even get more. Um, if I'm not too crazy about that, we will just see. Let's get them over here. ASAP. They should be running. All right. They're far away. It's going to take a while. On the other side of the map, of course. And there's my other ones. They're actually close, so very good. Gathering them. This is going to be fun. Right, of course, no construction of an industry zone, but we are under no pressure here, right? People can still move in. That's all fine. Um, do we have, by the way, I think, oh, I think we actually could get even more soldiers out there. We have lots of shields, eh, not that many items, but more wobos. So I could get, for now, another archer militia on its way. Hmm, we could do this, theoretically. No mercenaries, that's, that's bad. <laughs> He's taking a lot of mercenaries, I think. 
we just need to wait for any kind of message coming in here. There's also the Brigands for Hire, alright, that's his guys. Alright, construction actually continues in the meantime, that's great. So the saw pit has been finished over here, I don't know why the saw pit, because the logging camp should actually be finished first. There it is. Also interesting, of course, we have always an ongoing payment. So in 25 days, we need to pay another 135 coin. So actually here, my leftovers I will keep. Not for hiring new mercenaries, but to pay them. If we if it takes that long, right? But they only have one archer regiment. That shouldn't be such a big deal then. All right, logging camp has been finished. So we can assign those people now over, right? The ones that we have in uh, this logging camp here. It's goodbye. I don't know why they need a stall, uh, a market stall. Interesting. Goodbye. Also, the woodcutter lodge we can then delete. Still have some supplies here. And the mold house, of course, as well. Let's finish the other constructions. Where is my mercenaries? Where are my mercenaries? Here. Why are you not moving? Come on. Alright, they stopped moving the moment they entered the map. I need to assign them again. Let's hope that he's not moving, right? But we still have lots of days left. I still don't want to pay this. So I want to I want to get them into the fighting there ASAP. Alright, of course the hut is still on its way. The woodcutter, uh, the woodcutter lodge is finished. Let's actually assign three people to that right away. And also get rid of uh, this woodcutter lodge here. Goodbye. No longer needed. Plus, we have lots of firewood right now. So this is fine. And then the saw pits and the hitching post is already finished. Very good. Let's order an oxen for this one. And we could have a dedicated person just for this one, right? Um, but I would rather save my workhorse for the saw pits. All right. You're on the way now, please. Are you? Yeah. Also, the saw pits are about to be finished. So I can also get rid of the saw pits now in here. Really didn't make sense, right? You need to have them close to close to the industry so that transportation times are short. And let's assign the first two people here. And this one should be finished. There it is. For another two people. So with that we have two saw pits. And let's also have a construction log um, reserve, right? So it means it doesn't go below that in case we're consuming more planks than we need. So let's also keep 10 in reserve all the time. This actually applies to all saw pits right away. Perfect. And then there's the, the third one. Let's assign another person to this. So we got three saw pits now, plus the hitching post, plus the woodcutter lodge, and the forester lodge is on its way now. Okay, my mercenaries are closing in. So I'm actually going to... Oh! The battle begins. I did not enter the territory yet, as far as I can see. Um, yeah, I would like to station here, because this is the higher ground, obviously. So we're going to have, of course, my archers. Uh, all of them, please. In the back here. Spread out as much as possible. And my melees to the front. These guys here. Uh, there's unfortunately no cavalry. I would love to flank them at some point. Let's see. Yeah, they're actually pushing. Can we also spread them out in some kind? Missile attack. They watch alpha enemy missiles. Chance to avoid the block uh, is doubled. Let's actually do this for now. Missile alert. And I might actually I might actually keep those guys here a bit further away, right? They're going to flank the archers, the enemy archers. There they are. All right, let's actually do this. Let's take these units here. We're going to flank those archers over there. They are, however, protected by their own unit. Interesting. Alright, then we have these. All the archers are there. That's it, right? Ah, my retinue is still there too. Can keep them. Actually, let's keep. Let's take my retinue to to the other side there because we need to fight both of them. All right, the battlefield is ready. Everything is sorted. This is a very important battle for us. I don't know why my retinue continues to go up when I order them to go down. And they're also trying to flank us here. Oh, 
And there the first volleys are being fired. Very good. Those archers are isolated. They're not going to have a, a good time here. They are fleeing again. I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, these guys are getting slaughtered and already running away. Very nice. And we've also got those guys here. So my melees are actually keeping them at bay rather nicely. I definitely have a bit too many archers, but that's all the mercenaries I, I could get. All right. Of course, we're trying to, to keep them away from my unit so we can fire them. They're broken now too. Perfect. We still have those guys here in the back. They should be actually attackable since they're a bit further away. Yeah, my retinue in the meantime has actually arrived here and is destroying them right now. So I think I can use my other units to get back here, help them out. It's looking rather well for now, I think. Right, these guys here are totally under fire right now. They're not attacking either, so we can fire at them. And the next soldier's lead. Actually, they have still a lot of units left. Alright. I'm going to need my, my other mercenary units here. Come on, get in. Alright, so we are keeping them busy once more while we can also fire. By the way, what's my retinue doing? Still keeping them busy there, so we don't have to deal with those archers. Yeah, their will is broken too. And now we could actually, I think, fire from, from the side. Definitely did not have enough melees there to, to begin with. But it should be fine, really. I might also push them here to the side. These are all my mercenary archers here, right? We can keep them here, definitely. And my own right, uh, my own soldiers are here. I need to be careful though. These guys should not be damaged, right? I'm not doing the same mistake again. Very good. So now we can fire from both sides. Unfortunately, those mercenaries were really not, not the best deal. Now we can actually attack and push forward. Shield ball. They are taking a lot of damage though, right? That's the Baron's retinue. I mean, look at that. We're firing from behind. Completely on them. They're completely unprotected. And they're broken. That's that. I think we still have the archers now somewhere out there. Uh, I can make it worth your while if you drop all claims. Nah, uh, I don't think so. We are now going to push into these archers here. There's no more um, melee units, right? So the archers are already coming down. And my retinue is somewhere here. Still without damage. Soaking wet, however. They were chasing them all the time. Right, and now we can easily... We should easily be able to attack them and destroy them. And broken at the first contact. Running away. How else they are. And with that, we have Zweiau, a new region under control that is actually also 
looking really juicy for us, honestly. There is also a bandit camp. Um, eight more days before we need to pay the mercenary. So let's actually try and get over there. I would like to use this. Chance. Ah, time is ticking. I mean, I think there's no bandits here anyway, right? I can use my ready on this. Let's actually get rid of the, the mercenaries. Mm. Ah, I don't like surprises. Let's just watch it out. There you go. Um, belongs to my treasury. We're taking the coin this time around. And the right new time too. Right, and let's get rid of the mercenaries. I really don't need them anymore. And with that also belongs to my treasury. And with that we have 500 coin in the treasury too. That's super nice. And let's get all my soldiers back home. Yeah, we kind of lost lost like 15 people. That's okay, I think. Uh, when, when considering the battle. Uh, the two melee units that the mercenaries had were almost completely destroyed, so we used them first. The archers, however, we could have saved probably a few more people there. Now, in the meantime, this industry is not fully working, right? The forester hut is fully engaged, the logging camp is fully engaged, and this should bring in now lots of timber, but also hopefully then all the planks from uh, this area here. There's the socket. Let's actually assign a person to this. Let's order another oxen for this once more, and also assign a person to this hitching post, so... It gets a dedicated person for this, and three saw pits are now working. Hopefully that's enough planks. We still have a huge demand for it, though. Um, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and build me a fourth saw pit right away. A bit further over here. We got this whole row then for us. <laughs> I just love how this saw pit is looking. In the middle of the bushes, the bush somehow didn't disappear. Oh, it's a tree. It's a, it's a fallen tree, actually. Yep. All right, that's something you need to consider. And looking how my heights and ladder is looking, um, we probably should really settle in this territory right away. We have the coin for this. So without further ado, let's actually settle uh, a new camp. Um, this is really just going to be for hunters, probably berry farms, and of course the mining once more. So um, we have a direct connection though, that's great. So actually I think here in this, in this little clearing, I would like to have it um, somewhere over there. And once again, the town, modest it is, region has been settled. Um, let's immediately get the, the road just along the forest here to the King's Road. So we have then the connection. Actually, this one here we can get rid of again. Super easy to remove those roads. There you go. Then we have this. And there's also the hunting grounds then that we can have then just here. All right. That I would like to have and in this area we can then make our settlement go um, really just something small I, I don't want to I don't want to have too many bigger cities there all the time so in here we can already have then our little marketplace right for this for this town and then we basically go ahead now once again with a little lumberjack or logging camp that I would like to have then somewhere here uh, there you go also the hunting grounds right away probably going to need a lot of workforce just for the hunting grounds. This is a rich wild animal deposit. That means there's always going to be game to hunt. And lots of it too. And then this iron deposit is also juicy. So there's definitely going to be two pack stations here. That we're going to need for this. Also we cannot provide the meat for these guys right away. A woodcutter lodge. Unfortunately something we still need as well. And then basically just some burgish pots. Right. So once I have more timber again. These guys here can do their job. This is going to take a while again. In the meantime, hmm. ah, there's really not that many planks coming in. What is going on? They're waiting right now. There's the logs. There's logs. So we have the oxen, right? They should be transporting that. But they're taking the time. No, there's three oxen now doing all the, the heavy lifting here, right? The hitching post is working right here. Four oxen delivering the logs right now. There's the fourth saw pit coming along. We might actually upgrade this one here then to a stable. In Zweio, in the meantime, we have everything running. So we can assign someone to logging camp now. Daphne the woodcutter lodge as well. And Daphne also in the hunting camp already. Starting with that. And we still have timber left. With that, I would like to start then also some basic, some basic housing here that we can have. Just beside the marketplace, then most likely. Mm, yeah, we don't even have locks for three houses, so let's wait it out a bit. 
Very good. And so it's also coming along in Zweil. Construction for the mortgages. And new smaller villages growing. I love this concept that we have to create smaller villages as well. Of course, we can make them into cities as well. Richly trading then with the capital. And with that, our empire can grow further and further. Just look at that. It's so beautiful how far we can really see in this game. Also some huge mountains over there. And just seamlessly going over to the other region again to Sleepy Hollow. And here we continue onwards then in the next episode with more game, more iron and more weapons hopefully. Stay tuned.